Blender has different ways to create multiple copies of an object. You can duplicate, duplicate linked, instance collections, append files and link files. Oh my god! Let's take a look at this and try to simplify this topic. When we build a 3D scene, we often need to have multiple copies of the same 3D model. So, you could simply duplicate the single object many times, as in this case. But, what's wrong with this? First of all, this increases the file and memory size of the project. Secondly, if you have to update the object, you have to literally do that for each single copy. And that's crazy if you have tens or hundreds of copies of the same item. So, the first way is to use the duplicate linked method. This creates a linked copy of the item that has the same object data as the original 3D model. So, if you change the original mesh, all the linked objects are updated. In addition, you can add different modifiers, physics properties or objects constraints to each copy of the 3D model. Well, this is great. The other way to have multiple copies of an object is by instancing a collection. Let's create a new collection and move the original 3D model inside it. Now, right-click on the collection and select Instance to Scene. As before, you can update all the mesh of the 3D models at the same time. But this time, you can't apply different modifiers, physics properties or constraints. You can apply these properties to the original collection, and all the instances will inherit the same modifiers. Wonderful! We can modify all linked collections and related properties at once. The other way to create multiple copies of an object is when you have an external Blender file. This is useful when you have some assets to share in different projects. So, for example, here we have the 3D model in a separate file. First of all, you have to move this object inside a collection and save as a Blender file. Now, open a new file. You can import this model with the append method and choosing the collection you created before. In this way, you have a full copy of this object. So, basically, you are in the same situation as at the beginning of this video. You can now choose how to duplicate the object based on what we told before. But the most useful way to use an external object is with the link method. As in the append method, you have to link a collection, not the single object. In this situation, the collection is a link to the original file, so you can't modify its mesh in the edit mode. In addition, you can't add modifiers, and you only have two physics properties to work with. But, as for the collection instancing we saw before, the great thing is that if you modify the original file, all the linked collections are automatically updated. But don't worry, if you want to customize some of the linked collections, you have a way to do that. Select the collection, and in the object menu, choose the relations item. Then, select the make library override option. As the name suggests, you are doing a local override. This allows you to add modifiers and physics properties. But the original mesh is still linked to the external file. But what about if you also want to make some changes to the material? If you open the material tab, the material is locked. So how can we do that? Well, expand the material properties in the outliner, then right click on the material and choose make library override hierarchy. Now you can also update the material. Very good! I hope this video has given you the right information about duplicating and linking files in Blender. If this was helpful to you, consider subscribing to the channel.